Today we're going to cover the aftermath of using the wrong lubrications in your gun. And so this is not a situation where you bought it used, you bought it new potentially, and you used the wrong lubes and ruined it, but we can bring it back to life. You're going to have to rehab it. So we'll go over the basics. I have another video on that, but we'll go over the basics. Now, as you see, I am showing these products front and center. Now, I've seen at least one channel dance around this, say don't use the wrong lubes, but you don't talk about what lubes. That doesn't, that's not enough. Okay. I can talk about this without starting a war with a big company because I know and I've been told by people helping me not to do that. I'm not starting a war with a big company and we'll say good things about WD-40 and 3-in-1 and we're bringing back in Pelgun oil because I did a video on that and I need to clean that up. I, I do like Crossman products and I like Daisy a lot too, but uh, we're going to bring back in Pelgun oil and uh, clean that up and talk about why this is a way better choice than what you see in the background here. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this. Okay, WD-40 is great for working on engines, big nuts and bolts and loosening, things like that. The 3-in-1 products have their general use around the house. Okay, so they're great for what they were intended for, the right hammer for the right job. Okay, this is not for air guns. And we're gonna go ahead and get into that. And let's go ahead and start by looking at the three-in-one one product. So we have a penetrant right here. And right, uh, right away, if it says penetrant, you don't want this on your nitro O-rings. Okay, that's what's in your gun. You don't want that on there, okay? And it just has additives in it that will basically incinerate. I wouldn't say incinerate's not the word, but it will destroy your O-rings, okay? So let's go ahead and take that off the picture and we'll take WD-40 out for now. We'll come back to that and go into a demonstration what that does to your O-rings. Now, three and one, I've been approached by more people, here, let's put it right here. I've been approached by more people outside of YouTube that this destroyed their 760. So now we're talking Crossman. For whatever that is, 760 is like the Red Rider of Crossman. So a lot of people get that. And Crossman Fanatics, that's their first gun, is that has destroyed their seals. I've had a few people get on here, many, many more outside of YouTube tell me that destroyed their seals. Okay, so this is where it gets tricky, and we're going to go ahead and put the Superman cape on Pell Gun Oil here and bring this back into this video in a positive way. Okay, I've had people approach me and say, oh, but 3-in-1 is non-detergent. That fits within the DAISY recommendations. No, it doesn't. Yes, 3-in-1 and their motor oil come in these convenient little containers, and they're non-detergent, but they have penetrating oils and additives in them that destroy your O-rings. It's been recorded over and over again, and lots of Crossman people are approaching me. All right, that's, but it will affect AZ users too. And um, so that is not the same thing. It gets very tricky. I've had good people with good intentions get on my channel and say, oh, but it's it's not detergent, so that's that's okay. No, it's not. It's not non-detergent motor oil from the motor store. This is a, a special product and a special formulation. Okay, now Pelgun oil, and again, this, this is not going to be a debate I'm going to have on the comments, so let's please not try that, is that for people who bother the research, and Crossman will tell you, it is a good oil. It is Lubrication Engineers 30 Weight SAE Engine Oil with Detergents. Okay. So let's go with the competition, uh, Magnum Oil. They make good points. Are detergents deadly to your O-rings? No. Is there a greater debate? Do we need detergents in our air guns? I know the guys at the gun shop don't like people using mortar oil on firearms. Okay, it's a, they consider that a misapplication. But again, that's not the biggest debate. The biggest point here is detergents aren't death to your gun. Pell gun oil is fine and great for your pump gun, and its formulation is close to being made for O-rings. It's not exactly made for O-rings like Super Lube O-ring silicone, but it is close, okay? Being engineered for your pump gun, okay? Now, this has no detergents and will destroy your seals. This has detergents and will not destroy your seals. So I have to agree with Magnum that detergent is not the bad guy. It's not the bad guy, all right? So I wanted to go ahead and put the Superman cape on Pell gun oil here because it's easy. It says Crossman on it. You know that's going to work for your air gun. So between these two products, is this more expensive? Yes, but it's convenient. You get a nice little tube. This can be like anywhere between 99 cents to two bucks and will wreck your gun. And you're going to have to spend money to fix it. So please stay away from that. Okay. And now let's get into WD-40. Okay. 
So for WD-40, here's what happens. Great for engines and what it's meant for, but you put it on your O-ring here. Okay, it gets on your wiper. Okay, so here, let's go ahead and just kind of move that to the side so you get a clear picture. Okay, so it gets on your O-ring and your wiper. You have rubber here, rubber here, and wiper. And it starts to disintegrate it. And what it does first, it, with your O-ring, it actually swells it. So what's happening in a multi-pump, and I've had people approach me, and I didn't know what to say because I'd never seen that. And anyway, the guys at the gun shop said because they used the wrong oil and it swelled the O-ring. And so what happens? It jams. Okay, so for someone of modest strength, to them it's a solid stick, meaning they say their, quote, pump head is jammed. No, it's not that your pump head is jammed. It's just swollen because you used the wrong lube. That also is going to affect all of your seals here and back. It's going to affect your chamber seal O-ring and your valve O-ring. Okay, and so you're going to have to do a clean sweep. I have another video on that, and that's all going to have to be changed out. You're going to need a seal kit from Daisy. So if you need help with that, please ask. The most important thing Daisy can sell you for just a dollar is their seal kit. If you need any help with that, please ask. Okay, so what happens is, so it swells in there, it jams. And so you literally have to use your strength, hold down the gun and pull, take it apart and pull to get this out of here. Okay, so let's go over this. Okay, you're going to have to, public enemy number one is now an infected wiper that has to go. Your seal kit will have that in it. You use a pick and just rip it off there. It doesn't matter because you're, okay? And what I want to show is you get inside of there, okay? You get inside of there and clean that off with, with a Q-tip, all right? You rip it off. You take off your O-ring. If you're, unfortunately, if your rubber buffer here is compromised, you're going to have to order a whole new unit. Order the whole thing. Don't try to piece it out. Again, you get into issues where people don't do it right. Order the whole unit. It's just a few bucks. And that's a worst case scenario. The best case scenario, you use your pick, you pull off the O-ring, you rip off the wiper, which is public enemy number one now, and you get in there with a Q-tip, you clean all that off, you get paper towels and clean all this off, you clean out your pump tube, and you're going to have to clean out the rest of your gun, and likely do a complete sweep of your gun. Okay, so unfortunately that's what you're looking at because you used the wrong oils. Kind of like reusing BBs in a Red Rider that is, causes a fatal jam for most people that it's very hard to clear. Using something like WD-40 in a misapplication. Again, on this channel, I have no problem showing that front and center. The only other channel I found talking about this danced around the product. Listen, WD-40 is a great product, but you're misapplying it. It's not for air guns, so don't use it for that, and especially not this one. We're not talking Red Rider, folks. That has a lot more latitude and can take, I believe, a lot uh, more mistakes is one way to say it. Is that you may get away with this on your Red Rider, but not your pump gun. Not with the tight confines, quarters, and O-rings in there. So anyway, so that's what I want to just get across the people. And again, great products for what they're intended for, but please keep them out of your air gun. And I prefer that you go with Pell Gun Oil. If it comes down to it and you're new to this, just buy Pell Gun Oil. It's not going to destroy your seals. Is it cheap? Nope, but you use it sparingly, and this is what you go with. So we wipe all that out, and if you're brand new to this, your Daisy 80 is just fine with this, so is your Red Rider, just go with Pelgan oil. Okay, thank you.